The last thing we're going to learn about with this single template is adding comments to our WordPress site. So typically with blogs, you'll have comments at the bottom of each blog post. Right now, this is kind of what our standard blog post looks like. We have our content, the body text. We've got post navigation to put, navigate between our blog posts. We have our title and we have our date. We've got a sidebar here. So we've got a pretty substantial blog looking site at this point, blog layout. Now, one thing I am noticing here, these words are kind of running into each other with the numbers. I can go over here and fix that by going to our WP link pages function, find that function on your single.php file and just add a space or a colon and space after pages there on that first line. And then after each page, right before the number, we can have a space there, just like that. So now if I save that and I refresh over here, that's gonna look a little bit cleaner right there for us to navigate between the different pages of this particular blog post. Okay, so that's called pagination. Now let's go ahead and add comments in. So the way we're gonna do that is pretty simple. Right here, after this closing div for this post content here. That's all the post content, but we're still inside of this while loop. I'm gonna go right here and add some PHP. So let's do this. Add this PHP here. It's gonna be multiple lines. And in there, we're just gonna say if, and then comments underscore open, or, that's the or operator, get comments number if that retrieves the number of comments or comments are activated and open on this blog post then in curly braces we do this we say grab the comments template just like that okay so basically what we're saying okay if there are any comments for this particular post Okay, remember we're inside the loop here. So we know that for each of the posts we're checking this. If there are any comments for this particular post, we want to show the comments template right below the pagination here for this post. So I'm gonna save that. Now we don't have a comments template here, but we can use the 2016 one as an example for now since we're just learning this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to 2016 and I'm going to grab the comments template. They have a comments.php template file here. So I'm going to double click that. I'm just going to grab all the content from there. So copy all of that content. And if you have 2016, you can do the exact same thing. If not, you'll want to copy my code as I do this. I'm going to grab all that. Don't copy yet. I'll show you when to copy. And then I'll right click on my theme folder name here. And I'll say new file, and we'll call it the same thing, comments.php, just like that. Let's make sure it's plural. Yeah, comments.php. Okay, and then we'll double click this, and we'll paste all of that in. And I'm doing this just to save us some time here. This is quite a bit of code, but this is basically how we display comments uh, and create the functionality for adding comments. Let's change out this template part here. So I'm gonna use our template label at the top here. Paste that in. And we'll just say this is for displaying comments. We'll save that. And we'll also just add a note for tutorial purposes, we're just pasting in from the 2016 theme. Okay, just to give them some credit, it's always a good idea to do that. Okay, and then if I save this now and I go over here and I refresh, we'll see, there we go, we have comment functionality built in. It looks pretty ugly right now, but whenever you're logged into the blog now, you can actually post a comment. And so I'll demonstrate that. I'll just say this is a comment and then hit post comment. 
And there we go. Now the comment has posed. I have a little avatar image. So all of this stuff can be styled in our CSS, but now we have comment functionality built in to our theme itself. Okay, so all we did was we added this comments.php file, and this is the code that you'll want to paste in directly. So I can kind of leave it here at the top, and you can pause your screen and get lines 1 through 26 in there. And then kind of lines 27 to 50 right here. You can pause your screen if you want to get that in. And then finally, 51 to 75 there. Pause the screen if you want to grab that code. And then the very end, we just have a closing div right there. So we added this comments file inside of our theme folder and we're calling upon it from here in single with this if statement. We're saying, if there are any comments, inject that comments template. And now we have comment functionality built into our blog.